Great. First of all, before you start drooling, this is $3,000, right? Yeah. But you've packed a lot of technology into this uh, Intel uh, Core i5 and i7, two terabyte solid state drive. This screen is incredibly high resolution and there's a new way of navigating. Uh, test drive it for us. Sure. So what this Surface Studio does is it lets you turn any desktop into Creative Studio. Starts with, as you said, one of the most beautiful screens ever created, thinnest desktop display ever made. And I want to show you some of the graphics capabilities. Take a look at this. This is 13.5 million megapixels, 63% more than a 4K TV. You get unbelievable color calibrated for real life. So this is as close as you'll get as real life. Second thing to show you is you can then use it with Microsoft Office. We've designed it to give you so much more of a productive experience. So you can scroll through documents, for example, edit, squeeze back. And these things are lifelike. This is an actual piece of paper. Yeah. And then finally, uh, if you want to get into creative mode, check this out. I can push it down into creative studio mode. And now I'm going to introduce you to a new input method called the surface dial. Okay, it looks like a little puck. Yeah, and this what this dial does, I can put it on the screen and use it now to create new capabilities. So here's color wheel. And with the Surface Pen, watch this. As I'm driving, I can change the color as I'm editing. So you can get effectively two, two ranges of uh, color capability. So you can come in and edit this document. And finally, if I show you here a new application called Mental Canvas, which lets you sketch in 3D. Let's pull this back up. This is a 3D sketch. And check, go ahead with your finger, John, just slide it side to side. And again, $3,000 you said, for this. Uh, tell me, what is the strategic idea behind it? Because I guess at 3000 it's not going to compete with what a lot of your partners, HP, Dell, et cetera, are doing. So maybe by positioning at the, the high end, you're getting yourself out of that hot water. Are you trying to set the bar for what's possible with Windows 10? What are you doing here? Yeah, great, great points, John. It's kind of right on the market what you said. We're trying to create a new category of device. We want to push the high end, going after creative professionals, business professionals, combining a couple different worlds today, workstation, creative canvas and drafting table, and a video conference solution all in one. It's high-end premium. Our partnerships with HP and, and others, we think we can grow in Dell. We can think we can grow the market for this, these types of things with this new category. Now you got some other new hardware over here, updated yeah. hardware. Yes. Run us through that real quick. Sure. This is the brand new Surface Book i7. This is now uh, twice as powerful graphics performance as the previous Surface Book. And we've added 30% more battery, so 16 hours of battery. With this device now, you can do super high-end. You can play gaming. You can do CAD design. NVIDIA in this, too? It's the most powerful one we've done, yes. OK, so yeah. NVIDIA's winning on both that one yeah. and this one. Um, when is all this available? Uh, so this, we can go on pre-orders tomorrow. Uh -huh. uh, so you'll be able to go and you'll be able to walk into Microsoft stores and see both these devices tomorrow. OK, pre-order okay. both of these tomorrow. Yes. Delivery, you're not saying when? Uh, we'll have a limited quantity for the Surface Studio. Uh, in this holiday, and we'll ramp up production in Q1 of next okay, year. Okay, so you're teasing us. I get it. Yeah. All right. All on right. the surface, on the on the surface, uh, the surface new Surface Book with performance base that you'll be able to get this holiday. Okay. And finally, okay. do we talk about this? And then this is the Surface Pro 4. What's on here is what I wanted to show you that one of the other things we announced today: the Windows 10 Creators Update, the next major update for Windows, designed to really do three things: enable a new world of 3D. And this is Paint, used by 100 million people. It's now in three dimension, so you can do 3D. You can you can take your camera. Take a picture. Now you can also scan in 3D, drop that object in, and use it for presentations. Hopes that this will sort of reinvigorate the PC market because you know mixed signals. You know Gartner is showing year over year not a lot of action there, except in the West and in laptops. In fact. Yeah. So what we've seen with Windows is really tremendous growth of Windows devices all up in the PC core PC category. Two in ones are growing. Devices like the studio are going to grow. High-end gaming PCs are growing. Mm. Outside of that, you look at HoloLens, Surface Hub, Xbox, and Windows 10 is now powering that. Our, so our strategy with Windows 10 is to grow the devices and drive that innovation forward in these new categories. Hey, CNBC fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.